Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. Um, You know what, man? I'm a big fan of Leo Santa Cruz. I like Leo Santa Cruz a lot. I met the dude. I've talked to him. You know, um, I could have interviewed him, but, you know, um, just didn't get a chance. But I'm going to say this much about Leo Santa Cruz. This is another dude who's managed to slip through the cracks and not get criticized for his opponent selection. He's been getting away with this for a while. You know, the best wins on Leo Santa Cruz's resume is the Abner Marrez and avenging his loss to Carl Fudge. But besides that, who has he fought and beat? He didn't want to fight Ringo, apparently. Um, he needs to fight Gary Russell Jr. That fight should be made next. That's a fight that everybody wants to see, and it should be made. I think one of the reasons why people give Leo Santa Cruz a pass because he's a he's a very likable fighter. If you meet the guy and you talk to him, you'll instantly like him. But the problem is, like ain't got nothing to do with your resume. Leo Santa Cruz needs to start fighting people. He has a very weak resume. And, and, and I'm being nice by saying he has a very, his resume is not that good. The funny part about it is everybody says this about Leo Santa Cruz. He is a dude that has slipped through the cracks without getting ripped to shreds for his opponent's selection. And he should, because at the end of the day, real is real. You got to keep this shit balanced. You got to call it right down the line. You got to keep it fair, you know, like with your criticism of any other fighter. I can't sit up there and go in on guys like Triple G and, and you know, Vasily Lomachenko and question who they didn't fought, but then I keep giving Leo Santa Cruz a pass. You know, you got to call this hit right down the middle. And uh, Leo Santa Cruz, man, he got to fight somebody, man. He really do. Gary Russell Jr. should be the next fight, like Fred said. If he chooses to fight another mediocre guy, then, you know, the thing is he got to get he got to get ripped. He got to get criticized. And it's funny. Nobody asked him or questioned him about his resume. <laughs> So I'm just putting that in retrospective. Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm out.